good morning welcome back to the channel it's been a few weeks but the Vitesse is back so yeah and she's looking better than ever so managed to source some new forks from uh, Vitus uh, and then yeah gave it to uh, Pete at Lekking Bikes to sort it out and uh, yeah, he's done an absolute cracking job uh, and the bike is running better than ever um, and yeah really excited to uh, finally get out and uh, and uh, and ride her um, so yeah today um, I've got about four or five hours um, and it's a bit of a mixture really so first couple of hours I'm going to head out with Will um, and do head over towards Bolton Abbey and um, this lovely like chilled kind of zone two ride and then um, after that uh, heading over to the track because um, me and Rob are running a session there um, yeah to kind of help people get um, kind of Help people get back up to speed uh, and get used to riding on the, uh, the the track again. So yeah, looking forward to that. So a uh, great couple of hours there out to uh, Bolton Abbey. Yeah, last time I uh, um, yeah, rode out to Bolton Abbey, that's when uh, the, I found out my Vitesse was uh, broken. So yeah, managed to make it back from there. So uh, that's, a, that's a good good sign. And uh, yeah, it's good to be back on this bike. I absolutely love this bike, as I've said many, many times before. Um, and yeah, it's good to catch up with Will. Um, not seen him in a while. Um, yeah, he's, he's one of those people who doesn't, doesn't like to ride outside in winter and uh, yeah, tries to stick on the servo. I don't blame him after a few rides this, uh, this year, crashing in ice and uh, getting caught in the snow last week. Probably turbo is probably a better option uh, in, uh, in Yorkshire. So I've done two and a half hours um, already, uh, 65k. Um, now at the uh, track here in Leeds, so um, at the Brownie Centre. So um, me and Rob, we are kind of like the guys that run um, the kind of Alba Racing. So it's uh, our club Alba Rosa, and we kind of run the kind of competitive side of things. So I'm the uh, development captain. He's the race captain. And uh, today, yeah, we're going to run. We're running a kind of like intro to kind of racing session um, and we kind of invited uh, pretty much everyone from like the kind of the area so oh doesn't matter what club you're in um, just like if you're interested in racing or uh, uh, anything you can just come down and, uh, and join in this session so we're looking to run three of these sessions um, over the kind of like spring so this we had well we were, did have one planned for January but unfortunately wind meant we had to cancel it uh, so this is the February one and then we'll be running another one hopefully in March and maybe another one in April um, so yeah it's like a two hour session um, we'll just be doing a mixture of like chain gang kind of through and off um, and then some practice crits if you live in Leeds or um, yeah, in West Yorkshire and uh, you're interested in um, in racing um, I'm going to drop a link in the uh, in the description below and if you want to yeah, come try out one of these sessions and uh, see what it's like racing on a crit track um, and yeah racing in a bunch and stuff um, yeah come along And uh, now moving on to a thing called the numbers game. So uh, Rob is uh, calling out numbers and uh, that's how many people we want to like kind of be spread across the track. So if he calls out two, we want people to be in lines of uh, in two, two abreast. If he calls out six, we want people six abreast. And uh, yeah, the whole aim of the game is Rob's only saying it quite quietly. It means that the, the bunch has got to uh, communicate well with each other to kind of get themselves into the right formation. Thank you. 
the uh, kind of numbers game we did then, um, some chain gangs, so split up into groups of um, yeah, about 10 or so. And uh, yeah, just kind of rolling around uh, chain gang, um, trying to keep it nice and tight. And then just then, we're doing some uh, attack efforts. So yeah, in groups of three, um, rolling around nice and like steady. And then uh, the person at the back of the line, um, choosing the moment to attack. And um, yeah, then if they see uh, the person second of the line trying to get on their wheel and then the person at the front. Um, and then yeah, only sprinting for like, only attacking for about 150 meters or so. And then uh, easing up and doing it again and again. So uh, yeah, something you need to be kind of aware of, kind of like aware of again, of like who's around you, where they are. And um, yeah, trying to listen out for that change up in gear or change down in gear. And uh, yeah, trying to, trying to get onto that wheel. Not easy, not easy at all. Yeah, so now I'm gonna finish off the session with um, a couple of like um, practice crits or yeah, not practice, what, practice races. Um, so yeah, so I need like, I will do probably three or four kind of two lap races um, and then with like a lap or so in between just to kind of ease off. Um, just kind of simulating kind of the last bit of a race where it's kind of a little bit frantic and everyone's uh, yeah, going hard and trying to go for the win. Which usually happens in kind of cap three and four races is that pretty much a breakaway never really goes away in a cap three or four race. And uh, yeah, it's quite, a, um, usually quite a few people left there at the end, especially in the men's races where uh, sprinting it out for, uh, for points. Um, so yeah, everyone feels that they can be the, the next Mark Cavendish. But uh, yeah, so it's quite interesting. So we finished the session with a few races there and uh, yeah, still feeling not too bad. So I decided to kind of just kind of keep going until I drop. So um, yeah, me and Matt, uh, the, we headed back out towards Otley um, and did uh, the climb ups finally and then uh, West Shevin. Um, so yeah, now up to about 130 kilometers. Um, yeah, so uh, pretty, pretty day, uh, big day out on the sixth day of the uh, of a block. Um, but yeah, just trying to, empty the tanks so I've got two days off after this and there we are I uh, end up doing just shy of 150k in just over five and a half hours uh, so yeah big day in the bike but yeah that was that was the plan so yeah we're gonna be definitely gonna be running another one of those uh, track sessions at the end of March so um, I'll drop a link um, so if you want to sign up to that and uh, come join us so yes yeah, so if you're in the area and um, yeah, completely free um, and uh, yeah, it's about two hours so it'll be on the I think Saturday the 26th of March um, and it'll be from 11 to 1. Um, so yeah, uh, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.